Hi everyone, welcome to my Dollar Tree haul. I'm Rhonda. Uh, if this is your first time with me, thank you for coming and spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Um, this is my home. This is my backdrop, my obligatory candle. I love being over in this corner. It smells so good over here. It's just, for some reason, right here smells great. This is the corner of my dining room. And um, I actually was tempted to film this in my car because um, I'm doing a wedding right now doing the florals for a wedding and my house my entire house looks like um a florist blew up in here i'm looking at you angie but it's gorgeous <laughs> i can't wait to get them to her she's gonna be i hope she's as thrilled with them as i am i hope this is her vision um she's sort of a chill bride she's like yeah i, I like it whatever you know so i'm excited about that and i hope that i stress i think more than the brides do on every one of them I do okay let's get into the haul this is kind of a big haul um, I had a list and it just kept growing and growing and growing but I have been so busy lately that um, the list got long so here it is but before we get started I wanted to introduce you to my earrings aren't those gorgeous these suckers go with I told her probably 75% of the things that I own sorry but it's probably more like 90% of, of my clothes, these go with them. It's the Volcano, and it's from uh, Vana Sparkle and Shine, I believe. And if I can f find, I know I can find it. I will link it below uh, her Facebook page. And just tell her Rhonda said hi. Rhonda really said hi. The second thing I want to talk about is my nail polish. Um, this was in my Ipsy Bag Boxy Charm haul. And honestly, I can't remember which one this is. This is In and Out by... Probella, Probell, I'm sorry. And I think I'd looked it up as only like six or eight dollars, which to me is kind of high for, for nail polish. But since I have it, and this is the most lovely summer color. That's just one coat done sitting in front of the Dollar Tree waiting for it to open. Because that's how I do things. So let's start with household stuff. That's what I really had a big list for. So I got um, my Kleenex, and I just thought this little box was attractive from my living room and kind of low profile so it's you know and it's gonna have a cat sitting on it before too long so you know keeps them from falling off um, I got a, ba a bag of, of brown paper bags from my grandson's lunch he has a lunch box but often I have to go pick him up with it and take his lunch with him I also use these at uh, my crops that we go to for scrapbooking and card maker I use them as trash bags I also use them as mailers. When I have an odd card, I just, you know, slip it in there and pull it around the back and glue it, and that's my mailer, my envelope. Hi, Mycroft. Handsome boy. We have company. He probably won't come around the corner. He's a little shy, but he's so pretty. He looks like Venencio del Toro. He does. Okay. Um, large zipper bags, uh, like Ziploc bags, uh, there's zipper seals, and I had two, these had uh, two extras in them, so there's 14 in these, and I use these to separate bridal stuff, um, halos for the, for the little girls, boutonnieres, you know, things like that, so I, I use Ziploc bags, zippy bags, shouldn't say that, and the brown paper bags where I can write on them for, you know, this is the groom, this is the groomsman, this is the fathers. Because when you're laying them all out, they all kind of look alike. But they're different and they're very bride specific. So I use that for organization. Got a couple of tin foils. Tin foil is so expensive. So I get it at the Dollar Tree. They have something here that they want. And I kind of want it too, but I think I'm going to, I know that I'm going to get to keep it. I got three more uh, dish towels for my kitchen. Oh, look how nice. Apparently, I really like this color. These are the 100% cotton dish towels. And they, they they're, while they're on the thin side, they certainly do hold up to washing and drying nicely. So I recommend them. Uh, if you want a big bulky towel, this is not your thing. But I like to toss them. I, I at the end of the night, I pick up all of my hand towels, my dish towels, my washcloths, my dish cloths that I've used, and they all go into the pantry or the laundry room. So I like having several, and I like them being kind of thin, and these kind of got a nice little scrubby on them. So you can use them as a bar mop too. You can just wet the whole thing and use it as bar mop. 
Um, I have a card ministry with my church, and I um, use tubs to hold the cards with a sympathy, get well, thinking of you, have you, you know, whatever. And then envelopes, stamps, you know, things like that. And I had a pretty pink one, and my doggy got a hold of it. It's still viable, but um, it's now a weapon. It's got a sharp edge to it. So I got this one. I thought it was very, very pretty. And that's a nice big size one. So if I even have bigger cards or whatever, that'll look nice in that. I'm running out of places to put things because I'm collecting cats up here. I'll show you what they want, and I'll get it. He just left past it. I'll get it past. I'll get it over here so they will leave me alone. They want this. This is a boa. Uh, at the crop that I'm going to this weekend, we're doing we're doing the you know the Kentucky Derby. The the triple crown is going on, so we're all wearing on Saturday night wearing big hats, and we're supposed to do flu flu things to them. And I am so busy right now. There's a really good chance that I'm not going to get to do all that. So I bought these, and I have a sun hat and a, a black dress just a long black dress from you know sundress maxi dress so if i can't manage to get myself together enough to make a pretty effort for a hat i may just wrap this around the crown and put some hot pink earrings on and forget the whole thing and that's what my cats are doing up here so i'm gonna put that over there and see if they don't go over there and get it i bet you they do okay back to um household stuff i have one of my favorite t-shirts it's got an oil spot on it from um salad dressing so this is their um their oxygen cleaner the powder oxygen cleaner um i'm trying to think oxyclean is the is the off or is the full brand <laughs> i just shook that and opened it and now it's kind of falling all over the place i honestly like the smell of this one better of the of the one from the dollar tree better but anyway my what i started that story with is I'm going to um, soak that in my favorite t-shirt and hopefully this spot will come off the oil spot come it this really does work pretty good probably got lipstick on me are you looking for it it's over there I put it over there why don't you go over there and look at it Mary and some carpet cleaner I've only got one room of carpet left and I can't wait for that to be gone so in the meantime here it is I don't like carpet I live in Florida. If I lived up north, I probably would want it. I did live up north for a while, and I can see the upside of having carpet. But um, it's just a lot of work, and it's it's kind of icky. And to me, it just catches germs, and I'd like for it to be gone. And what I did in my guest room, until we figure out what we wanted, I pulled up the carpet, I painted the ceiling, I painted the walls, and then I painted the floor. We have concrete foundation, and... Um, my husband's like, oh, we're going to have to sand that. And I'm like, mm, mm So I put charcoal concrete, charcoal concrete stain, which was um, semi-opaque. I mean, you if you put enough on there, you wouldn't be able to see through it. I put two light coats so it would dry fast, and it is beautiful. It looks industrial, which industrial. I like rustic stuff. So uh, as you can see from behind me, I like rustic stuff. And... Um, this is like rustic industrial, which is kind of my thing. That's what my table is. And a couple of other things are very, very industrial rustic. And um, I, I would like that throughout my whole house. I was ready to tear out every bit of flooring we had in our home. Now, you cannot sell your home like that in the state of Florida. It has to have a floor covering on it. But I am content to do that for as long as I live here, which I plan on dying here, unless my circumstances really change. And I would, um, if I do sell it, I'll just, you know, get Home Depot or Lowe's to come in and put in some cheap flooring and it'll be new. They'll, they, you know, the new owners will enjoy the new carpeting and the new flooring for a while. Mycroft is circling my camera. So if it starts moving, that's what's happening. Why? Why are you here and what are you doing? I, I got to talk to these people. My battery's running low. Okay, I got some creamy cocoa butter. I'm kind of a nut for lotions and stuff like that. I try to um, experiment and kind of see what all that's out there. And I thought that might feel good on my feet. I've been on my feet a lot and they ache. And I thought, you know, that'd be so nice after my shower at night to massage that in my feet, put a pair of socks on and watch The Walking Dead. Robin got me into that, my friend Robin. 
I needed a refill for my um, soap dispenser in my bathroom, so there you go. And good old pine trees in Florida, North Florida, so lots of nasal relief spray. I know I'll run out. Uh, and cotton rounds. Need it. These, these are 80 count, I believe. Yes, 80 count cotton rounds. I have them in my beauty box. I have the rest cow cart for my beauty stuff to just move around. Uh, so I have it in that. I have it in my bathroom. Cannot have enough of these. I use them all the time. Ah, my refreshment for the day. Sparkling water. Dear from Deer Park. It's lemon flavored. I love soda water. I would rather have that than pretty much anything else. Um, to the food, this my my usual stuff. My orange crush. Uh, they come in little packets, little bottle packets, and I keep them in my purse. And when I get ice water, I throw them. I throw half of one of those in. It's a little strong, but half of one of those would make a like a giant 16, 22 ounce glass of ice water. Just yummy. My husband and I are doing a little road trip coming up, uh, so I'm starting to like do some snacks. These are, I think I said, these are the Lance. Um, Cream cheese and chive crackers, which are everybody knows that these are good. Uh, and they're not really bad in carbs. I think they're 16 carbs. And then I got myself some cashews. I'm going to have to... My husband is such a snacker. And I'm, even if I'm not hungry, once he starts, I start too. So I have to I have to battle that all the time. And I have to have my own snacks to, you know, get by. Okay. As I said, I'm doing uh, bridal. So I have floral tape. Three packs of floor tap, so expensive. Dollar Tree helps make that a good thing. A uh, couple things. Got some more pencils for my daughter's classroom. I'm trying to buy pretty pencils, so maybe they won't lose them so quickly or do whatever it is that they do with them. They go through them fast. Okay, this is stationary, so we already know I have a problem, so don't even tease me about it. Got some more pens. Okay, it's funny. It's it's an addiction. My niece has this addiction as well, Joanne, and her mom apparently has this addiction. Um, so this is the, the one millimeter, is it one? Yeah. Um, thick writing. And I love those. I love it to be thick and bold, easy to see. Uh, bridal shower and two weddings, three weddings. A bridal shower, three weddings, and baby shower coming up. Boom, boom, boom. One of the reasons I'm so busy. So I got that for one of the cards for the bridal shower or the wedding cards. I don't know. Um, the lace stickers. Oh, the feathers. I love them. And that owl down there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to enjoy it. And there is a package of labels. And there's quite a bit. I mean, that's a big, thick package of labels in there. And you can rubber stamp, you know, a sentiment on this and you know adhere it and it just makes it a whole it just steps up your game let me say it let me put it that way uh i needed envelopes the legal envelopes that are the safety so there's a 40 count of those and i needed a legal pad and then these are the handiest things in the world there's a little three pack of smaller it's like a tiny legal pad and i actually have a uh oh i wish i had that over here it's way over there um, I have a, a tri-fold thing that run, that's in my purse that has this in it. So I stick that in there, and then it has, a, it has slots on both sides. Pin, coupons, stamps, all that stuff helps keep me up. This is where my list lives, my constant list. I don't trust my memory. And this is a two-pack of legal pad. It's not very thick. I mean, you know. One of the things that I really love about this is I use the back, the uh, cardboard, the hard, stiff cardboard. I cut it in half, and I use them for file um, tabs for my cards, for uh, just organization. I, I have all of these containers and I have all this option, so I use it. Uh, okay, cats. They had some decent collars up there this time, so I got my babies are going outside against my will because those poor lizards are suffering, but they're running the roads. I mean, they're, they're going for it, so I got some more, um, trying to give the birds a chance. <laughs> They're, they're, t they're not good bird catchers. They are good lizard catchers. But, um, so, but they're taking their collars off. They're getting rid of them. And I don't know where they're at. So I just have to keep buying them. And thank goodness they're only a dollar. And because they're my babies, they got some toys. A um, couple of neat... Oh, my daughter. My God bless my daughter. She goes through sunglasses 
like nobody's business. Now, that was Mycroft. He just leaned up against the camera. Um, Shot Miss A has amazing sunglasses. The quality of them are really, really good for a dollar, but they're hard. Mycroft quits. Hey, Donnie. Uh, but anyway, they're hard to find because they go, they, they sell out so fast. I think people like me are telling you to, that shopmissa.com has the best sunglasses. But in the meantime, UV ray protected, beautiful, pretty, festive sunglasses. And if she loses them, there is some place in the universe where there are lost socks, one sock of, you know, a pair. And then there's another spot in the universe for all of my daughter's sunglasses that she cannot keep track of. Okay, so I got this for my giveaway, my next giveaway. It's it's um, Maya Angelou, Mom and Me and Mom. And I figured anything by Maya Angelou is worth having. And I mean, you know, these books are expensive. They, they, and it's a beautiful hardcover book. I also got for my giveaway, they have coloring books, adult coloring books now there. Um, so this one, I'll kind of demo this a little bit for you. Just, you know, patterns. Relax and rewind, it says. And then this is an animal-centric one. Oh, look at the beautiful Thaga. I wish I had time to do that. The bride, hang on, pardon my face. The bride gave me something that I just love because I love sugar skulls. Look at what she gave me. Is that not the most amazing thing? This was from Michael's, not from the Dollar Tree, but she gave me that as, as just a little bonus for doing it. And I, oh, I want to play with this so bad. I just don't have time, but I will. I will. I did by myself, um, since I am going to be on a road trip, uh, Dreaming for Freud, Freud by Sheila Kohler. It had a really good review on it. And, you know, it's a $10 book on the bestsellers list, so I'm taking it on my road trip. I believe that's it. I think that's all there is. Hard to believe. I mean, my whole counter is full here. But anyway, I think that's all there is. So I hope you found things useful. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Back that up. Back it up. Okay. Crop this weekend. I bought these to use as our little trash cans on our desks. I have, um, I go with three or four friends. I don't know if the fourth is going to be there. They only have three of these. So if the fourth is going to be there, somebody's going to have to share it. But isn't that cute for a trash can for, for crafts? I mean, you know, you can use them for what they're actually for or any number of things, but we're using them for trash cans. Um, Wet n Wild had a really neat little um, brush, and it's to put, you know, smudge out underneath and on top of your your eyeliner. Um, I don't know if Wet n Wild is much more than a dollar, but it was there, and I liked it. And here is the cute find. I'm, I'm sorry I tried to end this on you prematurely. It's glass. Isn't that cute? And the chevron top and the... Oh my goodness. Just absolutely adore this. I almost bought this. I think it was in Walmart a few months ago. And there was uh, the... My cross leading on the camera. Um, the Pioneer Woman, I think it is, has a line of cookware and tableware and stuff. It's really pretty. Not my taste, but really pretty. And she had uh, the, uh, ball jars with um, lids and, and I thought... Oh, I really want one of those, but then I thought, eh. I've got cats, so I tend to drink out of plastic things because they knock it over. Um, but I couldn't resist. I thought that was so cute. That's my morning spark can be in that. That will that will make me have a festive day. I drink my spark pretty fast, and then I put it back in the um, dishwasher, you know, put it in the dishwasher pretty quick. So that it won't be around long for the cats to get to it. So anyway, Mycroft is now... I think he's had enough. He started, he's shutting me down. So anyway, now I'm done. If you uh, like this video, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, you know that we are very casual here. I don't edit. I let it go. Whatever. If, if my craft knocks over my camera, he knocks over my camera. Um, uh, no big introductions. I do tend to have a long goodbye because I miss you. I want to talk to you. <laughs> you are my adult peoples in my life. Uh, but anyway, um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, comment if you have a beautiful, wonderful find that you have from the Dollar Tree. I would love to hear it or anywhere else. I'm all about sharing any information that we get. I'm going to do a favorites because like I said, you know, the, I, I'm starting to tell you anyway what the, the things that I love. So 
Uh, I will do that pretty soon. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a really great day. Bye.